InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. We are here to prefer solutions to the out of school situations in our country. In Africa, there are generally more than 20% of children that have never attended school at all. In any way. And on a global scale, in 2011, by UNICEF, 57 million students are out of school globally. Um, Team Son is working on um, coming up with ideas on how we can solve the out-of-school issue uh, by leveraging technology. I think it's a very key and interesting topic because it's something we are facing today in Nigeria. About 80% of our students are out of school, 60% um, do not actually finish school. So far it's been quite interesting, very refreshing having to work with kids with so, so much brilliancy um, being displayed, having to hear their ideas, you know, bounce their ideas off each other. Um, the team as well has bonded quite quickly and quite well, I must say. So there's a lot of energy and a lot of excitement about winning. So it's very positive energy in the room. Uh, so we hope to take that into the competition. I'm very confident that we're, we're going to win. Um, our, our guys are very, are very sharp guys. I'm very humbled. Um, in fact, I've learned a lot of things from them, actually. I came here prepared. I did, I did my research, but I found out that these guys already know what, what, what they need to do and what they have to solve. So I'm very excited and I'm very happy to be part of this, this initiative. And we believe that we will win this competition and challenge. Yes, to solve the problems of the world. Go Team Saturn! He was born with no superpowers. He was just unique with a burning desire to know more. To question the answer, and then question the question. To never stop finding new ways of doing things. Curiosity not only drives innovation, it shapes the future of businesses. So wherever it leads you, InterSwitch will be there, providing diverse digital payment solutions, insights and opportunities. Because we are committed to finding better ways to ensure that your business runs efficiently. InterSwitch. Transaction solutions you can depend on. What keeps you going when everything that should be a stepping stone becomes a stumbling block? What keeps you going is Verve. Verve in your mind helps you understand that every stumbling block is actually a stepping stone. Verve in your vision helps you see nothing but possibilities. And Verve in your hand? Well, let's just say that's how you get rewarded for not giving up on you. No matter what you're into, Verve is key to opening the doors you want. The only question that really matters is, have you got Verve? Verve, the rewarding way to make payments. InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. This is InterSwitch SPAC, where innovators are discovered and celebrated. 81 scientists qualify to participate on InterSwitch Park 1.0. 15 of these scientists have made their way to the semis, remaining 12 available slots. On today's show, three of these slots are up for grabs. These and more after the break. two major segments on InterSwitch Spark 1.0. We have the Innovation Challenge and the InterSwitch Spark TV series. In the Innovation Challenge, nine scientists are made to work together to prefer an innovative solution to a given problem. Now, the best team stands a chance to win the Founders Award. After 
teamwork, these same nine scientists then head on to the InterSuite Spark TV series where they slug it out for the title of InterSuite Spark Best Science Student in Nigeria. Revolution, they say, is like Saturn. Today, we have Team Saturn. <laughs> Led by their captains, Kenechuku and Ahmed, alongside their mentors, Kenechuku, Emeka, and Adobe, we were proposing a solution that helps promote learning beyond the formal institution as a tool to tackling the out-of-school issues prevalent in Nigeria. And of course, they shall be doing so with the aid of technology. Over to you, Captains. Good day, everyone. Um, this is Tim Sutton, and we're here to provide a technological solution to the prevalent out-of-school issue in our contemporary society. Firstly, let's take a look at how prominent exactly is the situation According to UNESCO statistics, there are 263 million dropouts worldwide, of which 61 million out of them are primary school dropouts, and 60 million are lower secondary school dropouts. And the statistics on Nigeria shows that only 59.6% of Nigerians are literate, meaning almost half of, half of Nigerians are illiterate. What causes all this? Firstly, we have the cost of education. The cost of acquiring education and delivering education are too high, so not everyone can afford to go to school. And also the co socio-cultural ceilings, there is gender bias and religious seclusions. There are some regions in Nigeria that believe that um, maybe women are not to be going to school, they are meant to be in the kitchen, and some believe that men are to be warriors to protect their, their villages. There's also the issue of physical constraints and limitations. We know that a, a good number of Nigerians are either physically disabled, or psychologically disabled, or due to their geographical location, they are, not, they are not opportune to go to school. And also, poor academic performance is a, it's a big factor to why people do not go to school. If, you figure, if someone realizes that every exam, every test, he always keeps, he keeps failing, so he might decide that, um, okay, I'm sick and tired of this, let me just drop out. Or maybe because the learning style is just too boring for him to really comprehend. What are the current solutions? It might interest you to know that in Africa today, there are some countries like Kenya and Uganda who have, you have, you have realized that merging technology with education really helps to spike up the amount of profitable people they produce. Um, like in Kenya, they have Kyo Kids. It's a multiple educational tabs hooked up to a power system. And also, due to the regional location of Kenya, there isn't so much of a good internet connection. So the device also provides internet service for them. And the idea that students are able to more or less use tablets in classrooms, it's, it's, it's quite interesting for them, so they focus more on their learning. Also in Uganda, they use mobile stations. It's more like all-in-one computer system. As you all know, Team Saturn, we are, let's say, we are here to provide solutions to the world, so our research led us to the educational hubs, which we like to call the e-hubs. Our approach is to focus on a solution that can be implemented within two to five years using four delivery modules. The first is the walk-in centers. As the name implies, people just you know walk into the physical center, a physical building where they can act, they have unlimited access to learning through digital platforms so that edtech centers, e-learning platforms, web-based, etc. This solution it, it solves the issue of scale in the sense that a lot of people that cannot afford education are able to just go in here and virtually get to know a lot of things just for free. Second one, we have the blended learning. For the issue of those that do not really like the abstract learning style, so we have the simulation learning, the game-based learning, and also the, it caters for different learning styles. Some people, they, are, they learn best when they, are, when they hear it, like the audio learning. Some, they are the visual learners, and some are the tactile learners that they have to feel the, the the experience. There are some places due to their geographical locations, the internet access is not readily available. We develop things we call the offline models. They're like preloaded content on digital platforms like tabs. You can access them and they have their own routers so they act as their own Wi-Fi and when the Wi-Fi connection is kind of red, you easily switch to normal cellular networks. And we also consider that some people are disabled. We develop things like hybrid classrooms and websites. But the hybrid classrooms basically enable people to see what are other people doing at other parts of the world, how is classroom, what are people doing, and the web quest just like a game. What are the benefits, convenience and ease of access? Imagine somebody that is like 
in a place where there, there is Boko Haram, the person can just sit in, the, in his or her bedroom and be like, oh, I don't really have to go and put myself into trouble. I just have to sit in my bedroom and like take this course and I know that after I can get into college when all those things end. Education is related with the national development. Most of these countries we admire today, like the Asian Tigers and the Korea, when they wanted to improve their um, country, the, the first thing they did was to send um, people abroad to like acquire good education. So we believe that as you give more access to people to to get education, the in, um, standard of living in the country improves. Team Saturn has shown us that they are bright stars with their revolutionary proposal. But let's see how well they can defend it. Well done, Team Saturn. I like your, the format of your presentation. It was pretty good. I like the fact that you made use of statistics and you didn't just look at Nigeria alone. You showed a global perspective and even a regional perspective. It's always good to compare, so that was very good. The question I have around the initiative, I think we often overlook certain groups and the group in particular that I'm referring to are what I would like to call minors. They need a lot of support and assistance, they may not be able to just walk into some of these centers that you're talking about. Do you have anything that really addresses or caters for that um, group in the society? We actually, maybe we didn't explain it well, but we catered for those who don't have access to the internet. That's the basic reason for the working centers, where they can easily go and learn. Then for those who are poor and those who can't also afford the internet, we have developed things like mobile stations where you can just, they are rollable, but they have inbuilt laptops, cameras, and the rest. And you can just take it, the personnel can just roll it like you roll your traveling bag to the person who is disabled. But if you're disabled too, and but you have access to the internet, you can use things like Edumontu, and they're like specialized for your own disability. So you've covered a lot of areas, but you also need to sensitize and also try to get the guardians to be part of this, to support them. So in thinking about your solution, how will we get those people engaged also? Okay, that was the essence of the web quest where your parents can assess and see what you're doing, how you're doing it, make sure you complete your assignment, and your teachers will also see. It's just that your teachers don't really physically have to be there to assess your scores, so as your parents, so they know what you're actually doing. You mentioned an implementation duration of two to five years. How do you plan to phase the different models? Because you talked about four models, so how do you plan to, are you going to phase it, or at the end of the fifth year, then, people can start to use your solution. What we meant was that the implementation of the prospects we have is something that is not vague. It's not something you'll be imagining that a futuristic technology is something that can be realized in just a minimal amount of time. That's why we said two to five years. It's not something that is about 50 years, 20 years. It's something that is doable. One important question that I have is uh, about the nomadic uh, community. You know, they don't stay in one place, they move from place to place, um, how do you intend to educate such a community using your solution? For the nomadic communities, they're accessible to all the options. They can, when they get to a particular village or a rural area, they can just walk in there. Or then there are mobile stations, mobile stations. You can carry them about, and maybe the community can decide, maybe during sunset, everybody that wants to learn should come out. It depends to suit them. And then if they have access to the internet or they have access to phones, they can just use their phones and register. Remember that our mobile stations have laptops, camera, and other technology that governments can, even I can buy them. So it's just about prioritizing education. And then you don't even have to think of charging because they are solar. And besides, we live in the tropics, so we don't have a problem with charging. You can just charge them under the sun. All right, thank you. Well done, Team Saturn. Who will win the innovation challenge? Who will win the Founders Award? Keep watching Interswitch Park 1.0 to find out.
InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. There is a special breed of people who are never satisfied, who will not recognize the boundaries of day and night, who never compromise, who want the next thing they create to be better than anything that's gone before. People like this aren't always easy to live with. At InterSwitch, we owe them everything. Because of them, we continue to create a range of payment solutions that are quick, safe and easy to use for anyone from a big bank to a salon. And by coming up with answers to problems before the problems happen, we've always stayed ahead of the curve. Without our special people, we wouldn't be InterSwitch. So wherever your imagination takes you, we will be there with the payment solutions you need to thrive. InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. Penicillin, ethanol, flour, sugar, glue, whiskey, corn silk, starch, oil, livestock feed, all from corn. You will discover endless opportunities when you search deeper and to enjoy their full worth, you need an innovative payment solutions partner that creates value from the obvious and sees opportunity in the not so obvious. InterSwitch. Transaction solutions you can depend on. My name is Ifelo Inejesu. I'm from Life Mudas College, Ogun. I am Anubabu Kenechuku from Gwabi International Secondary School, Anambra State. My name is Asutuku Kigama. I'm from Jephthah Comprehensive Secondary School, which is in River State. My name is Muna Chimso Onoha from White Sand School, Lagos. My name is Moyoluwa Obariwon. I'm from Great Sand International School, River State. My name is Elfta Nam Namji. I'm from Mary's Border, New York State. Abia from Greater Tomorrow International College, Ondo State. My name is Amino Ahmad and I'm from Illinois Secondary School, Illinois Kwa State. Welcome back. It is still InterSwitch Park 1.0, Nigeria's foremost national science competition for SS2 students. The winner of this competition gets to take home 7.5 million Naira which covers a five-year university scholarship inclusive of a monthly stipend. He or she also gets a laptop and the bragging right as Nigeria's best science student. The second place winner gets four million naira, which covers a three-year university scholarship inclusive of a monthly stipend. He or she also gets a laptop. Now the third place winner gets one million naira, which covers a one-year university scholarship. Wow, amazing prizes courtesy of our sponsor, InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. <laughs> Scientists, Ahmad, let's start with you. How has it been so far, knowing fully well that after working together as a team, you would come and compete with the same people you were teammates with? How does it feel? Um. The idea that I'm facing these people, uh, I still find it quite sad. But it's been a great experience so far. Good experience so far. Moyolua, what about you? Yeah, it was very nice working with them, but this is a competition. Okay. Somebody has to win. Okay, it is a competition. Okay, Muna uh, Chimso. Working with them was uh, very nice. I made friends with them. You made but friends? As previously mentioned, it's still a competition. Okay, it's still a competition. That's fine. Today, one of our scientists is unavoidably absent, Messi. So today, we have eight scientists vying for three slots at the semis. Without wasting any more time, let's get down to business. Industry Spark has two levels, the foundation and the advanced. In the foundation round, you all have an opportunity to attempt 16 multiple choice questions from different general science subject areas, each within a 15 second window. Marks will be awarded based on individual speed and accuracy. For questions in this round, the first five with the correct answer earns the maximum 10 points each, while others with the correct answer to the same question earns five points. An incorrect answer or no answer at all earns you zero point. At the end of this round, only five of you with the highest score will proceed to the advanced round. Let's play the game abiding by the rules. Question one. 
in eukaryotes. Which organelle digests the old organelles that are no longer useful in the cell? A. Endosome. B. Lysosome. C. Endoplasmic reticulum. And D. Plastids. Let's find out who got it right and who got it wrong. Question two. After fertilization, what does the zygote of a seed plant become? A, egg, B, flower, C, fetus, and D, embryo. Can I check out? What was your answer? Embryo. Hamad? D. Okay, let's find out who got it right and who got it wrong. Two people answered incorrectly. Question three. In Spirogera, sexual reproduction takes place by which process? A, budding. B, binary fusion. C, copulation. And D, conjugation. Was that an easy question? Moyolua, was it an easy question? Yes, it was. So you're certain you got this right? Yes. OK. What about you, Oyi? Was this an easy question for you? I think so. You think so? OK, let's find out. Question four. The following are plant hormones except A, all, B, Cytokinin, C, auxin, and D, insulin. I think this should be an easy question, but let's see who got it right and who got it wrong. Ahmad, what answer did you select? Um, I wanted to click on D, but I couldn't click anymore. Okay, remember you can only lock in your answer once, so be sure before you lock it in, okay? And you have 15 seconds to do so. Question five. Which of the following is not a part of a typical vertebra? A, cervical. B, transverse process. C, none. And D, centrum. Let's see who got it right and who got it wrong. Only two people answered correctly. This is Into Switch Spark, where we discover and celebrate outstanding innovators. Question six. What is the name of the method used to control pests by predators called? A, cultural. B, Biological, C, physiological, and D, chemical. I wonder if that was an easy question for everyone. Let's find out. I guess it wasn't so easy for Oye and Kenneth Chuko. Question seven. When the cerebrum is damaged, which of the following processes will be affected? A. Vision. B. Breathing. C. Walking. And D. Heart rate. Let's find out who got it right and who got it wrong. Three people answered incorrectly. Doisola, what was the answer to that question? Walking, option C. Okay, walking, option C. Thank you for that. Question eight. Sex-linked characters include the following except A, hemophilia, B, asthma, C, fever, and D, albinism.
We're halfway through the foundation round. Kinetico, you're wearing a smile. Has this round been really good? It has not been very good though. But you have to smile now. Okay, Ahmed, what about you? Not so good. Not so good. Doi Sola? Somehow. Somehow. <laughs> okay, Muna Chinsu. Uh, somehow or not so good? Um, it's been okay. It's, it's been interesting. It's been interesting. Okay, Asusi? It's been okay. It's been okay too? Yeah. But... Uh, some, a few mishaps. That's yeah. Okay, not to worry. You have eight more questions to go, so that's enough time to catch up, okay? Okay. Let's have a look at our scoreboard to see where we are, so we have an idea of how to improve in the next questions that follow, okay? So this is what our scoreboard looks like. Topping the chart is Muna Chimso, followed by Doin Sola, then Asusi, Namdi, and Kenetruku. Eight questions down, eight more to go. Keep watching, Interstate Spark 1.0. We'll be right back. Interswitch Spark is an Interswitch Switch a Future initiative. This lady has nothing to do with this commercial. Absolutely nothing. We just used her to get your attention, which, judging by your reaction, <laughs> we've succeeded. You see, if we didn't pay her, you wouldn't have stopped to listen to how QuickTeller makes everyday transactions easy. Well, with QuickTeller, you have one less thing to worry about when it comes to paying bills, sending money, buying airtime, and much more. QuickTeller, everyday payments made easy. What keeps you going when everything that should be a stepping stone becomes a stumbling block? What keeps you going is Verve. Verve in your mind helps you understand that every stumbling block is actually a stepping stone. Verve in your vision helps you see nothing but possibilities. And Verve in your hand? Well, let's just say that's how you get rewarded for not giving up on you. No matter what you're into, Verve is key to opening the doors you want. The only question that really matters is, have you got Verve? Verve, the rewarding way to make payments. Welcome back. This is Interswitch Park 1.0, and our scientists are vying for three slots at the semis. The foundation round continues. Question nine. Blood pressure is measured by A, hydrometer, B, phytonometer, C, barometer, and D, anemometer. This seems like an easy question, but let's see who got it right and who got it wrong. Everyone answered correctly. <laughs> question 10. Which response to a drop in body temperature does not involve muscle contraction? A, blood vessels, B, shivering, C, reduced sweating, and D, hair standing. Let's see who got it right and who got it wrong. Only two people answered correctly. Question 11. Which group of bacteria convert ammonia into nitrate in the hydrogen cycle? A, nitrifying bacteria. B, denitrifying bacteria. C, anaerobic bacteria. And D, Ammonia bacteria. Let's see who got it right and who got it wrong. Muna Chimso, we now receive a response from you. Remember, you have 15 seconds to lock in your answer, okay? So be sure to lock it in within your 15 seconds. Question 12. 
Which of the following is not a micronutrient? A. Polydemnum. B. Zinc. C. Phosphorus. And D. Boron. Oyi, was that an easy question? It wasn't. Ahmad, was it an easy question? Yes. Yes, it was. So you're sure you're going to get it. OK. OK, ne? Um, I think it was. Oh, you think it was? Don't you, Salah? Somehow. Somehow, OK. Let's find out who got it right and who got it wrong. Everyone answered incorrectly. Question 13. The following causes mutation except A. Chemical mutagens B. Inversion C. Cosmic radiation and D. X-rays I wonder if this was an easy question as well. Who got it right and who got it wrong? Only four people answered correctly. Question 14. Find the value of x and y respectively in the figure. A, 21 and 6. B, 21 and 18. C, 42 and 18. And D, 6 and 42. Let's see who got it right and who got it wrong. We didn't get a response from quite a number of people. I guess it took a while to solve. Don't you, Sola? You seem to be the fastest. Well done. Question 15. The part labeled one and two are called dash and dash respectively. A, activation complex and activation energy. B, reaction rate and activation energy. C, activation complex and endpoint. And D, endpoint and reaction rate. Can I check? Are you sure of your answer? No. No. What about you, Namdi? You're um, sure? Yes. You're sure? Oyi? Not really. Not really. I was almost certain that what would follow after your smile would be. I'm certain. OK, let's find out who got it right and who got it wrong. Only one person answered incorrectly. Every other person answered correctly. Question 16. This is the final question in this round. In the mechanical setup shown, what is the function of the split rings? A, voltage distribution. B, current production. C, voltage induction. And D, current reversal. Let's find out who got it right and who got it wrong. Only two people answered correctly. Now we have come to the end of the foundation round. Kenechuku, no. why the look? How well do you think you've done? Not well. Not well? Yes. Namdi, are you OK? Yes. How well do you think you've done? I'm not really sure. You're not really sure? Are you sure? I can't say. You can't say. Moyolua, can you say? No. No. Asusi? I think so. You think so? I like that. You think so? Unachim so? I'm not sure. You're not sure. Okay. Our scores are in. Let's find out how well we've done. 
But remember that only five of you will proceed to the advanced round. Let's find out who are those five. We'll do that right after the break. InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. What keeps you going when everything that should be a stepping stone becomes a stumbling block? What keeps you going is Verve. Verve in your mind helps you understand that every stumbling block is actually a stepping stone. Verve in your vision helps you see nothing but possibilities. And Verve in your hand? Well, let's just say that's how you get rewarded for not giving up on you. No matter what you're into, Verve is key to opening the doors you want. The only question that really matters is, have you got Verve? Verve, the rewarding way to make payments. He was born with no superpowers. He was just unique, with a burning desire to know more. To question the answer, and then question the question. To never stop finding new ways of doing things. Curiosity not only drives innovation, it shapes the future of businesses. So wherever it leads you, InterSwitch will be there, providing diverse digital payment solutions, insights and opportunities because we're committed to finding better ways to ensure that your business runs efficiently. InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. Welcome back. We just concluded the foundation round and it's time to reveal who our top five are. Moin Sola, Oyin, Ahmad, unfortunately, this is where we draw the curtain on Intercity Spark 1.0. Being part of the top 81 in this country is enough to show that you are brilliant and you have the spark. So don't be sad and never give up, okay? We wish you the very best in your future endeavors. A round of applause for them as they exit the stage. Congratulations to all five of you for making it thus far. You guys are up for high stake, 7.5 million Naira in educational scholarship. But first, you have to make it to the semis and then to the finals. But then on this show, we have only three available slots. Who amongst you will make it? This is an advanced round. In this round, each of you will have an opportunity to select from five subject areas where your 15 question will be pulled and asked. After the take a turn, you will each have a 45 second window to attempt your 15 questions. If you miss or skip a question, you can still attempt it provided it is within your 45 seconds. Each correct answer earns you 20 points and scores from the foundation round do not apply here. Do we understand? Yes. Do we understand? Yes. Now, let's take a turn. To determine the order of play in the advanced round, each of you will attempt to solve a puzzle. Now, the order in which you complete this puzzle will determine the order in which you will play in the advanced round with the fastest going first. Now, let's solve the puzzle. Match the following countries to their continent. Now we have our order of play. With Munachimso going first, Namdi second, Asusu third, Kenechuku fourth, and Doinsola fifth. 
Now it's time to select your preferred subject. Nuna Chimso, you get to have the first pick since you are the fastest. Chemistry. Chemistry it is. Namdi. Biology. Asusi. Biology. Biology. Kinetrical. Biology. Doing Sola. Biology. Biology. Nuna Chimso, are you going for biology too? Yes, biology. Biology. Now we are out of biology. Seems like all of you love biology. Namdi, what's it going to be? Chemistry. Asusi? Chemistry. Kinetrical? Chemistry. Doing Sola, let me guess. Chemistry. Chemistry. <laughs> now we are out of chemistry, so I'm certain that Chimso isn't going for chemistry. What's it going to be? General knowledge. Namdi? Physics. Physics. Asusi. Mathematics. Kinetrical. Mathematics. Doing Sola. Physics. Muna Chimso. Math. Namdi. Physics. Asusi. Physics. Kinetrical. Physics. physics. And now we are out of physics. <laughs> Doing Sola, what's it going to be? General knowledge. General knowledge. Muna Chimso. Math. Namdi. General knowledge. Asusi. General knowledge. Kinetrical. General knowledge. We're out of general knowledge. Doing Sola. Mathematics. Mathematics. And now our question bank has been loaded. Muna Chimso, how are you? Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm okay, I'm happy. Okay, so when you're ready, tell me and we'll start. I'm ready. You're ready. Muna Chimso, now is your time to spark. What is the IUPAC name of CH3, CH3? C what separatory technique? Chromatography. According to the modern periodic law, the properties of an element are periodic functions of what? Um, atomic number. On which chromosomes are sex linked genes located? X and Y. What term refers to death of every member Extinction. of the population? Breeding root is an adaptation for survival in which habitat? Mangrove. The brief period between sunrise and complete brightness. The line of latitude that Equator. Is the shortest distance between any two points on the Great circle. If 2 over x equals 4 Keep. over 2. In Euclidean geometry, a parallelogram is quadrilateral. Two. 240 is 80% of what number? Keep. Your time is up. <laughs> Namdi, you look tense. Relax. Relax. You've prepared for this, so relax. Okay? When you're ready, tell me and we'll begin. Okay? I'm ready. You're ready? Namdi, now is your time to spark. Which part of the brain regulates most biological cycles in humans? Hypothalamus. What term describes the association between the root nodules of a leguminous plant and... In which part of the human digestive system does nu nutrient absorption take place? What component of the air is removed when air is bubbled through the oxygen alkaline? What is the mass number of an element having 20 neutrons, 15 protons, and 15 electrons? That's five. What type of bond exists between carbon Ionic. and oxygen? The kaleidoscope produces multiple images using the principle of what device? Ski. The high voltage across the spark plugs of an ignition system in a motor car is sub Battery. The emission of electrons from a surface by the action of light striking it is called what? What thermometric liquid is known to have a boiling point of 357 degrees Celsius? Skip. Your time is up. Asusi. Yes? What's the meaning of your name? Um, it means gift. It means gift? Yes. What kind of gift? Gift from God? Gift from... Um, I'm not really too sure, honestly. You're not really too sure? Yes. Okay. Are you happy to be here? Yeah, I am. Okay. When you're ready, tell me and we'll begin. All right. Let's start. Okay. Asusi, now is your time to spark. Which structure controls secondary technique of a diaphragm? 
What term describes division of a body into two equal halves Keep. and the vertical axis? What term describes the ability of an organism to live successfully in an environment? Adapt. Um, survival. A salt that absorbs moisture from the atmosphere without goes, coming. Go, um. Cathode rays are which streams of fast-moving elementary particles? Skip. Which law describes the relationship between the mass of a gas and its rate of diffusion? At increase in mass, and decrease in rate of diffusion. Seven more than twice, what number equals 48? Seven. 20. A volleyball team played 50 games and won 350 of them. How many games were won? 30. If two legs of a right triangle are three meters and four meters, what is the length Five. of the hypotenuse? Your time is up. Electrical. Mm -hmm. You're wearing a smile. How are you? I'm, I'm feeling better. You're feeling better. Are you sure? Yes. Are you ready for this round? When you're ready, tell me and we'll begin. I'm ready. You're ready. Electrical. Now is your time to spark. The disease marasmus results from the deficiency of what nutrient? What is the main building block of the human body? Cell. Which organelle in a cell is responsible for synthesis of ribosomal RNA? Ribosomes. Starch is classified to which polysaccharide? How many electrons are in magnesium 2 plus? Skip. The force of attraction between covalent molecules is what? Um, skip. What is the common logarithm of 10,000? Five. What metric prefix denotes 1,000? Skip. What is 40 to the power of 2 minus 30 to the power of 2? Your time. Um, 700. Is, your time is up. Doing Sola. You look ready. Not really. You're ready? Yes, I'm ready. You're ready? Okay. Now is your time to spark. Hepatocytes are cells of which gland? D. What class of vitamins is vitamin D in terms of solubility? It is water soluble. What is the study of animals' life called? Zoology. What will the pH value of an acre solution CAC? Seven. What is the color of phenolphthalein indicator in dilute HNO3? Colorless. The mixture of benzene and water can be separated by what technique? Separating for near. Find the unit digit of 15 to the power of 4. Keep. The property of a fluid that is used to determine the sustainability Keep. as lubricant. In the absence of gravitational force, the weight of Zero. the is... Another name for the Earth's core is... Crust. Oh. Which gas has the highest percentage of oxygen? Your time is up. <laughs> Namdi, how was this round for you? Well, not fine. How do you mean not fine? You don't think you answered enough questions? Yes. But you can't be too sure. Asusi, how was this round? Um, it wasn't good. It wasn't good? So you don't think you've you scored enough to make it to yeah. the semis? You don't think so? OK. What about you, Doi Sola? How was this round for you? Only God can help. Only God can help you, okay. Muna uh, Chinsom, how was it for you? It was, it was good. It was good, okay, I like it, it was good. So you are certain you've earned yourself a slot? Well, you can never be certain. You can never be certain. All right, let's find out who amongst you will head into the semis. But we'll do that right after the break. InterSwitch Spark is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. <sighs> Prob. 
problems. Who doesn't have them? Some problems are embarrassing. Some are humiliating. Some are unsuitable. Some are testing. Some are unexplainable. Some you just have to laugh about. And some, maybe not. Whatever life dishes you, you can always be sure you'll have one less thing to worry about when it comes to making payments, sending money, paying bills, and everyday payments. Quick Teller. Everyday payments made easy. Penicillin. Ethanol. Flour. Sugar. Glue. Whiskey. Corn silk. Starch. Oil. Livestock feed. All from corn. You will discover endless opportunities when you search deeper. And to enjoy their full worth, you need an innovative payment solutions partner that creates value from the obvious and sees opportunity in the not so obvious. InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. Welcome back. We just concluded the advanced round. Out of these five scientists, only three will move on to the semis. Who amongst them will make it? Our results are in. Kenetruku, Nambi, you've done very well. Unfortunately, you will not be going with us to the semis. Share up. Out of 13,000 that took part in this competition, you were part of the top 81. That should mean a lot because it shows that you are intelligent, you are outstanding. So go and make a difference in the world. A round of applause for them, please. Asusu, Asusi, and Doi Sola. You three have earned yourself slots at the semis. You can now wear a smile. You made it. You made it. Doi Sola, yes, you should smile. You made it. Asusi, yes, it's okay to laugh. Unachim, so you can actually smile as well. It's okay. You made it. Congratulations to the three of you again. A round of applause for them, please. Ah, it's been an amazing show today. We have both been educated and entertained by the outstanding scientists that graced today's show. Three scientists came out tops in both speed and accuracy, and they will be moving on to the semis. Don't forget that the winner of Interstreet Spark 1.0 gets 7.5 million Naira which covers a five-year university scholarship inclusive of a monthly stipend. He or she also gets a laptop and the bragging right as Nigeria's best science student. The second place winner gets four million naira, which covers a three-year university scholarship inclusive of a monthly stipend. He or she also gets a laptop. Now the third place winner is a left out either, as he or she gets one million naira, which covers a one-year university scholarship. Courtesy of our sponsors, InterSwitch, Transaction Solutions, you can rely on. Albert Einstein said that the pursuit of science can only lead to one road, greatness. That is why InterSwitch Spark will always follow the road of science. Join us same time, same station next week for another exciting episode of InterSwitch Spark 1.0. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at InterSweet Spark. Bye for now. InterSweet Spark is an InterSweet Switch a Future initiative.